أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إذا جاء نصر الله والفتح ورأيت الناس يدخلون في دين الله أفواجا فسبح بحمد ربك واستغفره إنه كان توأبا Anyway, in, in my faith, in my heart, I needed the true guidance. So for a whole month, I was just like seeing my daughter um, needing these right answers. I could not give her any um, a believed answer, believed it, just because I was raised up like that. I needed to give her the true answer. I was making my dua, please God, help me, help me. When I, when I was going to bed, when I woke up, this was like, like a, a stubbornness of myself that I must walk in the right way. Because I was raised up as a believer, in Christianity, but as a believer. Then, um, it was like about three years before, in the th three Ramadans before, that few days before that Ramadan, I had a dream. I had a dream that changed my life totally. I dreamed that I saw myself wearing the white hijab with the white dress. And I saw myself looking, looking myself like, like a Muslim. And I was in a small white room. And I look at my both sides and I have my two daughters holded by my both hands on my, on my sides. And they were wearing the same white dress that I was wearing, the white hijab. In this small room, we were praising Allah. We were making sujood to Allah. I was speaking in Arabic, the surahs. And I was so um, overwhelmed by this, that this is, this is the right way to praise God. Still though, on my right side, I saw a small door. And I saw the shaitan. And he will not enter this white room. He was just there, standing, like in fire. You know, I saw his eyes was like, like uh, in fire. And he, and he told me, don't become Muslim. Don't believe in Islam. Stay Christian or be anything you want to be. And he started telling me bad words in Spanish. He tried to scare me. But I don't know how come out of my mouth the words. I said it. And it was like a wind grabbed him out of this place. And I felt no, um, no fear in my heart. I grabbed my, my two daughters again. And we, start, we continued praising God. And every time we were coming, standing up from sujood, every Allahu Akbar, our bodies were bigger and bigger. Again, Allahu Akbar. And we were bigger and bigger. In one of those sujood, when I, we said, Subhana, Subhana Rabbil Ala, Subhana Rabbil Ala, Subhana Rabbil Ala, on the floor, I heard Allahu Akbar. I came back to my consciousness. And this was the Adan of Fajr. And at that time, I said myself, consciously, full awake, Allahu Akbar. I was totally sure, I was 100% sure that God has answered my question. What is the right way, the only right way to come to God? Islam. Right now, I'm so thankful that God has made me Muslim. Because this is to be Muslim, as we know. This is the difference of going to the fire forever, forever. There is no one year, ten, ten years, a hundred years, a thousand years. It's a thousand and a thousand and forever and ever. Inshallah, I will be of the chosen ones. And because I love my babies, I want to raise them up as a true Muslims. After my dream, when I realized the whole thing, 
I felt taqwa in my heart. So I went to grab whatever cloth I had in my, in my house. I covered myself. And I fear not to be in the right way of God. I want only to be in the right way from that time until now. And inshallah, until the day I die. I asked my husband mother at that time, please tell me how can I be Muslim? No, no, I want to be Muslim. So she took me to Allah Kaf to make my Shahada. I did it then. I came back. Three days later on, Ramadan started. It was like, like a dream. And I don't want to wake up from my dream. I want to go on with it. I, I started fasting with no problems at all. 